Hi, Jamie Guilin, Senior Instructor with the Raspberry Golf Academy at Royal Manchester Golf Links. Uh, as I've mentioned before, I don't just hit every driver as a stock swing driver. I've got a couple different kinds of shots that I can hit with it, and the shot I want to talk about today is the max distance driver. How do I hit it as far as possible? I'm not trying to do this every time. There's plenty of times where I just want to try to get it in play. Uh, but if I want to get max distance, there's a couple things I need to do a little bit different and I'm going to show you those now. So if I want to get my max distance out of this driver, I need to have a couple elements in play. I need to make sure that I start it up in the air quickly and I reduce my RPMs of backspin. So there's a couple things I'm going to do differently than I would normally if I just had a stock driver or an easy driver or a bunt driver. So what I'm going to do is tee it higher than I normally would, just a little bit higher, maybe a half inch higher. Um, I'm going to set some side bend to the right in my upper body. And what that's going to do is help me hit it more on the upward part of the attack angle, the upward part of the swing arc. And I'm also going to try to hit a little bit of draw curve to it, and that's going to keep my RPM to spin down. Uh, it's also important to try to hit it up fairly high in the face, a little bit higher than the center, and that'll help it launch high and keep the spin down. So, you know, a normal driver setup would be, ball position's gonna remain pretty much the same. Normal driver setup would be here in my upper body. I'm just gonna add a little bit of tilt and adjust my, my body angles a little bit to the right so that I can hit up and swing it to the right and get a little draw curve. Yeah, that one launched up real high early and had a little bit of draw curve. That's gonna be one of my maxed out drivers. So this club doesn't have to just be a one trick pony. You can hit a lot of different kinds of shots with it. I've developed these out of necessity over the years. Um, so this max distance one, remember you want an upward attack angle into the ball and you wanna hit it high in the face and a little bit of draw curve to it can help keep the RPMs to spin down try that uh, experiment with that kind of shot and see if you can start to get it to go farther when you want it to I, I only try this when you know there's either not much trouble or you know I, it, it's a, a calculated risk where I'm trying to hit it as far as I can because maybe I could get it on a green in a par four or I could be in a much better situation on a par five or whatever it's got to have a reason to try to get max distance out of this because we're not long drive. I'm not a long driver. You know, I need to make sure that I'm in play as well. I don't get six attempts at this thing. So um, try that, work on it, use it when you feel like it's necessary. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.